I think one of the biggest um, issues that a lot of people are having out here today, I mean, I travel all around the country. I feel extremely fortunate to be able to do that. And I get a chance to meet and interact with so many diverse people from different backgrounds and different walks of life. And it's amazing what the common denominator is out there when you interact with people who are what society referred to as struggling out here economically, um, emotionally, and a lot of people even spiritually. I realize now that there's a, um, there's a real bad case of the hopelessness that's kind of floating around. I mean, with all of the constant crap that flows through the televisions, the media, the gloom and doom, and how the world is going to hell in a handbasket, there's no wonder why people feel hopeless and helpless and feel like, man, they don't even want to get up out of bed, you know, and approach the day. Do you realize that in this country, like we're one of the only countries where people actually hit the snooze button and would rather stay in a dream state than to wake up and attack the day. And it's the most amazing thing in the world to me. And look, I, I totally get it. I understand. At one point in my life, I was negative, and I didn't even realize I was negative, realize I was negative, constantly talking about how broke I was, how bad the economy was, how there was no opportunities out there. I mean, I would get on the phone with a friend of mine and really feel like I'm just venting, not knowing that by me constantly focusing on this, I was only perpetuating my own failure. I was constantly regenerating it because that's where my focus was at, as opposed to thinking about what can I do? What type of uh, impact can I make? that could be of value to other people. See, I realize, and there's a quote in one of the most popular, well-known books ever created. And it said that it's better to give than to receive. And I realize right now that in today's society, that those who are willing to, uh, to give of themselves, and I'm not just talking about monetarily, I'm meaning uh, giving of a kind word, giving of a positive thought, or even give them monetarily. Something about giving in a spirit of... Uh, of abundance and of more than enough has a way of attracting back to you more than you could possibly imagine. And I'm not talking about this uh, generic law of attraction stuff that everybody got so hyped up on in 2006, 2007. I'm a firm believer in like attract like, but you can sit up and, and hold a vision in your head all day and just sit there and guess what? It ain't going to happen. You have to get up, get out and go get it. But the thing is a, a large majority of our population they never had anybody in their immediate family or in their surroundings that had ever uh, generated any type of success on any significant levels where they can see, you know, how it's done. I mean, if you think about a family, okay, if a dad likes a certain sports team, nine times out of ten, his son is going to grow up liking that sports team. And if a mother likes a particular type of a, um, a type of a music or as a political affiliation, <clears throat> nine times out of ten, the daughter or the kids are going to be of that. Which means that a lot of our mental programming comes from our surroundings, really our immediate surroundings in our household and our parents and whatnot. So if you grew up in a household where limitations were always put on everything, including being successful, you know, how financially free you can be. If you've lived in an area where you had those constraints and restrictions on you, of course, your mentality is going to be limited. And you're going to think that there's only so far you can go. But man, I tell you. I mean, I've, I've, I've heard countless stories of thousands and thousands and thousands of men and women who come from very, very humble beginnings, born on the wrong side of the track, so to speak, um, have experienced, had some bad experiences growing up, some been to prison, but had been able to transform their lives around strictly by changing the way they think. I mean, I myself, 13 years ago, sat up willing to blow my brains out because I thought life was so bad that my family would be better off without me. Because I was just stumbling through life with no real ambition, with no sense of purpose, and was just kind of waiting away. It could have easily fell into being a statistic. But through, um, through a lot of uh, you know, kind words and positive words, and I'm sure a ton of praying by my, by my parents, and uh, just my willingness and my ability to say, look, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <clears throat> I want to be something, and I want to be somebody. And in order for me to do that, to change the world on the outside, I had to change the world within. And, you know, you coming from a guy who never read a book in high school or college. If it wasn't a basketball magazine or a rap magazine, I didn't even read it. And now, you know, I realize that the more things that I read, the more I fill my mental Rolodex up with the tools to be effective, efficient, and productive, the more value I can provide to society. 
Therefore, and in turn, the more value I'm providing to society, guess what? The greater the opportunity it is for me to provide for my family. And, you know, that's really the, 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 the secret, I would say, of life. Find an area where you can give and be of service and be of value to other people. You know, every successful man or woman and every successful business solves a problem. So you should make it a point to be a problem solver. Seek problems out. Don't run away from them because they're unavoidable. They're going to come up. And it's not about what happens to you. What it's all about is what are you going to do about it? So make it a point today to really start doing whatever it is that you can. That's really my secret. I know you asked one simple question and I'm kind of uh, going on. But I think it's important for people to hear this. You can be doing have anything you want if you help enough other people get what they want. And that's one of the greatest quotes um, that I've ever heard. And Zig Ziglar was who I heard say it. You can have anything in the world that you want if you help enough other people get what they want. So make it a point to start being a giver. Wealth is attracted to those. Money is attracted to those who know what to do with it. That's why if you notice a lot of stingy, selfish people, very rarely do you see them in positions to where they're um, living financially free, secure, and what people would call a, a good life. Many times it's opposite. But notice that those that are always willing to give a kind word, to be of assistance to somebody, to give more of themselves, put others before themselves. You ever notice how they tend to, they seem to be lucky all the time? But the thing is, it has nothing to do with luck. It's just the balance of life. If you take, 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 eventually life's going to call that debt due. But if you give, 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 guess what? Eventually you get a chance to withdraw your deposit also. So stay focused, stay upbeat, stay positive, be a giver, and be successful. That's my that's my only uh, tip and suggestion I got. What other questions do you uh, do you have for me?